apparently it has a uh, one key landing mode. It's not return to home, it's just landing. That's it. The button right here is auto landing. But it's going to land where it is, it's not return to home, so just so you know. I uh, calibrated the, G the gyro evidently I didn't need to, but um, because it's factory calibrated, but did it anyway. Um, the surface in the pit, is, I'm not sure how level it was when I did it. I was going backwards a little bit. Eh, could be the wind. Wind is blowing to the south. Now it's blowing in my face. It's holding pretty good. It's a nice big gust right here. It's holding. See what, how much it drifts in manual mode. Okay, so this is manual mode. It's definitely uh, does not hold its definitely does not hold its place. You got to fly it. It also go uh, about 10 meters per second in manual mode. Got to be careful. And you got to stop it. Uh, she'll, she'll get going. That's not even half what she can do. I'm just afraid I'm going to run her down into those trees if I get her too fast. So she'll really pitch forward. If any time you don't feel comfortable, you can uh, put her back into gyro mode, or optical mode, not gyro mode. She's always in gyro mode. This is optical mode. She'll hold there pretty, pretty good. Manual mode, start drifting, you got a flyer. I can't believe how quiet she is compared to the F09. She she gets accelerating way faster than she slows down, so be careful of that guys. In manual mode. You get her going too fast and she gets near the trees, you're not gonna stop her. The pitch backwards is pretty good, but once you get her going, she just doesn't stop that quick. If you put her in uh, optical mode though, she stops and hovers. I've always favored manual mode on the F09. Alright, 
And if you hold her backwards too long, she'll start drifting backwards. Slow down. Seems to have a rather high head speed too. Compared to the uh, F09. If you panic, just put her on optical mode. This will stop and hover. No battery. Oh, I see it's one key landing. And you can steer her on the um, one key landing too. No. One thing I don't like about the F09 S is um, when the battery got low, she initiated return to home and landed on my roof because that helicopter never lands exactly where it takes off. This one, you won't have that problem because you gotta bring it back and either do the one key landing or land it yourself. I'm guessing that uh, beep is the first warning. Because it's showing there's still pretty much power in the battery. About half. Um, but those are brand new batteries. Not pushing it. Got these little snaps. And get just nail into the front there. The batteries are the same as the F09, they're just smaller. And there's your plug for your uh, you could hang a spotlight on it, <laughs> but it's got a it's got a nose light. Nose lights right here. And that's out.